Jackie, you're always talking about ADUs, so it seems like you love them. Is there ever a time that it doesn't make sense to build an ADU? Watch my video to find out more. Hey everybody, Jackie Hu here, your local and international real estate expert. I make videos for buyers and sellers, giving them the tips and tricks to the real estate game. So tune in every Tuesday and Friday for more videos. Today I'm coming to you with our newly decorated accessory dwelling unit or mother-in-law suite. It came built with the property we bought. We just needed to furnish it to get it up on Airbnb, which we have done but I felt like it was appropriate to film the video here. So I want to answer the question today, does it always make sense for me to build an ADU on my property? And the answer is no. There are a lot of good reasons to build ADUs. It can help with the sh housing shortage crisis. One of my favorite reasons, it can help create passive income. For example, if you have a two car garage, you turn it into a one bedroom, small one bedroom, you could be earning $1,800 a month on it, on uh, the rental income from that. It will help increase the overall value of your property, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. Um, also, it can help be a good first step into real estate investing if you're not interested in buying out of state or buying a two, three, four unit property. It's a good way to also create an asset out of something that you purchase that's nor not normally viewed as an asset, which is your primary home. So I really would sit down and think and watch YouTube videos, talk to your agent who cares, go do as much research as you can to, without getting paralyzed by making the decision, but does building an ADU make sense for me? Some of the reasons why it might not make sense is if you just bought a new house and you just put 20% down and you spent over 250k buying your new house and now you're expected to spend at minimum like $60,000 for a new ADU. That's like bare minimum. Most ADU costs are being quoted around like $180,000. So if you don't have $180,000 laying around, you would likely have to take out a loan. And then you would need to look at does taking out a loan and the amount of interest and payments I'm going to make, when can I get the return on the money for this new thing that I've built? I'll talk about that in a different video because there's a few ways to look at it and it gets a little into the weeds, but that's something that's really important to consider. Um, so that aside, another reason why building an ADU for you might not make sense is that right now appraisers when they come to appraise the property are not giving ADUs the full value that I think they should be um, in the short term. In the long term I think we'll eventually get there where appraisers think that there's a lot of value in ADUs but right now they're not fully giving the value. So I've seen scenarios where a property has an ADU and an appraiser only gives it $5,000 worth of value or even takes off value because the homeowner no longer has use of their garage. Appraisals matter because if you're trying to refinance and get some of the money out of the property or if you're trying to sell the property and you have somebody trying to buy it, yeah, the appraisers will help determine how much money the bank is going to lend you. I've also seen scenarios where People add ADUs, they spend about 60 to 80 to $90,000 and they expect to get double the return when they go to sell their house and they're just not right now. It's not the market for that yet. Unless you're a developer and completely remodeling a house and adding an ADU, then the value is can be there. But for the average homeowner, if you're spending 150 k you might get 150 k more in value on your house. So your house was 800, you added an ADU, now it's worth 950, but you likely just spent about $150,000. So let me just summarize that by saying that appraisers don't necessarily give the value, yeah, give the full value that I think they should in, in the right now. That might look different. My video might need to change in a month because maybe appraisers get on board. Um, thirdly, and this is specific for those who live in Los Angeles, in a lot of if you live in Los Angeles City, adding an ADU can make your property become rent controlled or your your single family home become rent controlled. So 
also not going to talk super in detail about this because it gets complicated, but I've seen a lot of people on the Airbnb and short-term rental Facebook groups that I'm a part of where they think, great, I'm going to add an ADU and I'm going to Airbnb out the ADU. That's also very complicated, but usually once you do that, it makes either your front house ineligible to be short-term rented or the back unit ineligible to be short rented and it makes it fall under rent stabilization. So that can be kind of a bummer. The fourth reason building an ADU might not make sense is if you don't have the time and money, like I talked about before, to build an ADU. Most ADUs, again, are coming in plus or minus 180,000 and they're taking six, eight, 12 months because you're having to deal with um, the city. Because you as a homeowner, a normal average homeowner, don't normally have the experience, contacts, problem solving that a developer might have, it's going to take you longer to build the ADU than the flipper over here who's doing it or the person that's been doing it and has all the crews and all the experience behind them. The point of ADUs from the city's perspective and all the regulation that they've passed is to put the construction costs and the development costs into the homeowner's responsibility, not the developers. So there's benefits of that in that you get to make the money on the flip end, you get to make income, but then you're also having to carry the construction costs, development costs, and the time. There are other reasons why building an ADU might not make sense, but I tried to cover the main four. Some other reasons that building an ADU might not make sense is that you don't want other people accessing your property. You might have unpermitted stuff on your property and you don't want to get the city to come out and permit your garage and see all this other stuff that's happening. The neighborhood that you live in, ADUs might not be popular because everybody who lives in that neighborhood doesn't want a second person who's not the homeowner living there. There are a ton of reasons why building an ADU might not make sense for you, which is why I'm gonna circle back and say you should talk to your realtor. Who cares? You should do your own research, bigger pockets, YouTube, Facebook groups, Reddit, all great resources. If you guys have questions about ADUs, about buying a home, selling a home, I would love to be a resource. So don't hesitate to reach out to hashtag who's your realtor.